Morning ladies and fellers. Just woke myself up. Put the bed up there. Got everything where I needed to be for travel. It's time to pull in the slides and hit the road. Come to me. Use the force. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. And come on. Come on. There we go. There's one. Oh, I gotta move this stuff out of the way here yet and pull this in. Well, we lost some floor space. <laughs> we're good to go. Let's get in the pickup and let's get out of here. Let's go see Jade and John. We're gonna be there tonight. Okay, yeah, we're all packed up. All ready to rock. Got my coffee, got my breakfast. Look at this, I tried to be healthy today. Let me know how I did. <clears throat> Apples and cheese for breakfast. Huh? High five. I'm gonna live an extra year because of that. The shades are on, that means business. It's time to go. Let's hit the road. We'll be at Jade and John's house sometime after supper today. I'm not gonna get there as early as I wanted to, but we're gonna get there as early as we can. Conditioning cranked. It's a beautiful 81 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. We're in Missouri. Cruising through Missouri, we have 660 kilometers to go. That's six, seven hours of driving till we get to Jaden John's. We should be there a little after supper. I'm thinking eight o'clock central time is when I'm gonna get there. So it'll be just in time for a bonfire. It'll be great. Just a beautiful, look at those white fluffy clouds. Don't you just want to like go and get some cotton candy after looking at those things? Look at that. Got my Texas shirt on today. Completely irrelevant to anything I'm doing today, but hey, Texas. Texas is warm. We're warm. Texas is south. We're going south. Missouri is still the Midwest, right? It's not south. It's south to me. I mean, Minnesota is south to me. This truck is responding beautifully to this trailer that I'm pulling. Just beautifully. Using a lot of fuel, definitely using a lot of fuel. <laughs> Averaging like eight miles per gallon US, which is uh, what, 27 to 30 liters per 100 kilometers? She's thirsty. But uh, I'm also doing 65 mile an hour today because I wanna get to Jade and John's. I knew today was gonna be an expensive day for fuel or a more expensive day for fuel because I'm not gonna take it easy. I'm gonna put the cruise on and I'm gonna let the truck do whatever it has to do to keep me at 65 mile an hour. Unless if it, you know, absolutely needs a little bit of a hand, I'll, you know, slow her down going up a hill or something, you know what I mean? But I just wanna get there tonight because I'd love to have a bonfire tonight yet. I don't know if we're planning on that or if that's gonna to happen tomorrow. But one of these days, tonight or tomorrow, we're making s'mores. They said we're making s'mores. Looking forward to that. Oh, my mouth is watering already just thinking about it. You guys know what s'mores are, right? S'mores, you roast a marshmallow to golden perfection over the fire. It has to be done over a fire on a stick. You can't cheat. Okay, golden perfection without burning it. When you take it off your 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 marshmallow stick gently, and you place it on a little wafer, kind of like sort of like a cookie. 
then you put chocolate. Then you put another wafer and you squish it all together. Yeah. That. That is a magical combination that we call s'mores. We're here at the pumps. We did pretty bad fuel economy on this tank, that's for sure. Against wind, again, this whole time. Ever since I hit Fargo, North Dakota, remember we started this trip off with a nice tailwind pushing us south? As soon as we turned west, or turned east, sorry, there was a wind pushing against us. We're going against the wind, and then I figured once we get to Minneapolis and we head south, we're like, all right, well, it'll be a side wind or whatever, it'll change, whatever. We're against wind again. This whole trip since Fargo, North Dakota, we've been driving against wind. So all I can hope is that the wind patterns stay the same for next week when I head back. Save some money on the way back, but today and uh, yesterday we've been going against wind pretty much all day. And it sucks up a lot of fuel. Like yesterday we averaged just under 8 miles per gallon US. So, uh, I mean, it's it was expected. I budgeted for less than that uh, so that I had more than enough money for fuel. So I'll be fine, but I was kind of hoping that my estimates would have been, you know, like way off and it turns out they were actually closer than what I thought they would be. But we are pulling a trailer. It's like pulling a big billboard behind me, a big brick wall. And uh, plus we've got the bike in the back yet and us in here, plus all our stuff in the trailer. So probably got about 6,000 extra pounds on the truck right now, at least. So it's doing pretty good. I'm not complaining. This truck is handling it very well. This engine is so quiet. You can't even hear it. You're pulling up the mountains. Also, I look down, my RPM's at like 4,000 as we're climbing up this big hill. Can't even hear it. <laughs> Looking around at the scenery here, at all the beautiful greeneriness, it can only mean one thing, and that thing is that we are getting ever so closer to the south. Hey, is Florida part of the south? Well, obviously it's the south, because it's the southest you can southern go. Except for Texas. I've been to far Texas before, right at the tip of Texas, that's far south. But I mean Florida's far south, like it's down there, right? Is it its own little thing, or is it part of the south? I'm curious. I think it's part of the south, but I never thought of that before. I've only been to Florida like once or twice. Once in the truck, and once uh, riding along with my dad as a kid. So I'm not familiar with the area at all. All I know is they got gators. Gators, and they, they eat you. They gonna get you if you don't be careful. And it's break time. We're at the Loves. Just grabbed us some fuel. Diesel is sniffing the grass, debating should I pee on it? Should I not pee on it? I don't, I'm not sure. Should I pee on it? Diesel, you should pee on it. You should. You sure? Oh, okay, man. I'll pee on it then, yeah, just in case. It's hard for Diesel to drink while he's in the truck and the truck is moving. It's easier in the semi because there's more room, but here uh, we stop for water break, so I'm just letting him empty all his tanks and all his everything else he's got to empty. And I'm gonna jump into the Rockwood here and grab his water and everything, let him drink for a while. And don't worry, on this trip I plan on getting new shades. I want your vote down below in the description. You don't actually wait till I get the new shades, then we'll vote on which shades are better. Here we go. Crossing the state line. If I'm correct, we're crossing into Tennessee. We're less than two hours from Jaden John's right now. Two hours. That's it. Three In three hours. I will be sitting in a lawn chair beside a bonfire. Very likely. Maybe. Hopefully we have a bonfire tonight. If not, then tomorrow. They did promise a bonfire. I just don't know if it's going to be both nights or just tomorrow night. But within three hours, I will be at their maison. Their house. Their home. How do you say it in French? Dans la dans maison. Inside the house. Inside their house. This isn't even Tennessee. This is Kentucky. Oh, I just saw the sign, just down there, the blue sign. Okay, never mind, not Tennessee. False alarm, everybody, false alarm, everybody, go back. Flying through the back country of Kentucky, getting close to the border with Tennessee. This time it's Tennessee, I'm pretty sure. The next state is for sure Tennessee. <laughs> 45 minutes from Jade and John. Well, on this road it might be a little longer, but we're still on schedule. 
beautiful scenery. Look at all the greenery. This is amazing here. This is why I like it down in the south. Better weather, friendly people, lots of countryside, lots of bush. Man, every time I come down here, I'm just, I don't want to leave. Look at this here. This is amazing. Everything's turning green again. Doesn't this just make you want to move down here? We got here. Diesel's already out in the yard there playing with Lucy. You can see him, there's that little dot right there. He's not very happy. He's tied up for the moment until I can keep an eye on him more. Here's John's new big dually. I'll show you it in the morning. Just give you a little sneak peek now. Here's the the famous van. <laughs> and then they got an F-150 tucked away in the back there hiding. But yeah, I got the trailer here all set up. I'm gonna be here for uh, tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, and then I'm leaving in the morning of the next day. I'll be able to show you their yard more. You guys got a semi trailer in your backyard. I didn't even know. <laughs> you just realized that is that is perfect. Somebody parked in the wrong spot. <laughs> that is perfect. A couple of truckers. <laughs> it's like you docked it up here. Right, we dug a hole for it. <laughs> did you guys actually move this here or? Uh, yeah. Well, we did personally. We had it moved. You had it moved it, but this you got it put here. Yeah. Oh, that does make sense then. Okay, I thought you were just. It just happened that there was a trailer here when you bought the house. No, no. Okay. Storage. It was cheaper than a storage building. Nice. That's, I, gotta say, that's a, I, was, I remember you. I was very thankful Diesel was here. Mhm. Mm because I realized when y'all left, I've never been here alone. Oh. I can hear thing. I can hear some walking in the woods. Hi, dear. We left her here alone. We went into town to get some propane here. Nobody's afraid of Lucy, but Diesel seems a little bit more appropriate to be scared of because of the size, you know. Mhm. Mm Oh gosh. We got a big bonfire going here. Check out this massive deck. <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it a deck or a patio. A patio. Porch. Porch. Glass like glass solid. Glass. This will be here long after the house is gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those deals like the house burns down and this is here. You're like, what was that? <laughs> right, yeah. At least you can still have a bonfire. Right. A really big one. But I'll give you guys you more. See this? I'm going to want to back off for this. To Starting to party tricks already. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. <laughs> well, it can't be bigger than that, but this is how we cook on dark a weapon too you know if anybody breaks into your house oh, yeah. have that besides the bed. you guys have a flamethrower well that's it folks that's a wrap that's how John ends all of his vlogs if you haven't heard of Jade and John before I want you to go down below to the description the first link you're gonna find down there above everything else is gonna be a link to their channel it's called the Jade and John show I'm going to talk to you more about them tomorrow, but they're my friends down here in Tennessee. They're also YouTubers. They uh, drive truck team. She drives days and he drives nights. So they drive the same truck and drive over the road in the southern U.S. from California back to uh, Tennessee, I believe. Something like that, back and forth on the road. But they've been making daily videos for years as well, too. I've known them for over two years now. Uh, almost three years, I want to say, I've known them. Really good friends of mine. They're like... You know, my best friends down here in Tennessee and I love coming down here to visit them I wish I could come down and visit them more often but I want what I want you to do is a favor for me I want you to go over to their channel and check them out go find the link down below uh, go give their channel a look and if you do like it hit that subscribe button for me they've got about 20 some thousand followers and subscribers right now I think they deserve a whole lot more than that so I hope you guys go and check them out. I hope you guys like them. I watch them every day. I hope you like them too. So we'll see them tomorrow again. We're still here at their house. I'm just getting ready to go to bed back there. Tomorrow's another day. We're going to be vlogging here and spending the day here in Tennessee with them. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You're probably going to want to tune in. I'll see you tomorrow.
anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time.